Hi there, for this video I'm going to show you how to make one of these little planets. I'm going to show you the, the basic way of doing it um, and there's lots of different ways of doing it and ways to do it more accurately. Um, but if you want to just go out and have fun then the best way is just get your camera and you don't need tripods or special panoramic heads or anything like that. For me, I'm using the uh, Fujifilm and I'm using the 10mm fisheye lens because that gives me the biggest amount of space. To get one of these planets, you need to do a full 360 degree video of uh, the area that you want to turn into a little planet. The best thing to do is to stick it onto manual. Uh, Oh, the main thing is you don't want the aperture to change at any point um, and you want it to roughly be the same uh, brightness in all the photos um, so it's not suddenly changing bright and dark uh, halfway around halfway around in the circle so for me in this brightness it's not very bright it's overcast it's gonna be a pretty dull photo um, I've got it on f4 and a speed of 125 125th of a second. So what to do is to just start doing uh, probably about 15 photos around in a circle and also get a shot looking down the way and a couple shots looking up the way. So let's go for it. Okay, so that was the, the photos taken, and you notice I took maybe only three at the top and a couple down at the bottom. And in a lot of them, I got my feet in the actual image as well. But we'll see how that works whenever we edit it on the computer. Okay, first things first, we need to upload the photos. So import. That's all the photos. Now what we need to do is open up a program called PT GUI. So choose your selected images. Here you have all the photos loading up, and then click on Align Images. Give it a minute. And here comes the image. Still needs to work a little bit. As you can see, my feet here. Ta da! Photo done. You can even see the wire up here which was the telephone pole coming from the house. You can check in case there's any odd bits go from photo to photo photo to photo but this one looks like it's done a pretty good job. So come out and go to create panorama. Okay, next thing, open up GIMP 2. Okay, go up to File, Open, and open the photo that you've just made, the big panoramic. It's quite big, 16 megabytes. Here's your image. Now, from here, Go up to Filters, then down to Distort, and go to Polar Coordinates. Take Untick Map from Top, and click OK. And here you have your image. Now that's not it completely done, so what you need to do is go to Image, 
auto crop image and then go back to filters go to distort and this one you want to go to lens distortion bring the main down a little bit and the edge down a little bit more tweak it until you're happy and that gets the edges out like that and there you have it your own little planet pretty cool I think it looks better and as you can see don't even see my feet feet are completely disappeared if you want to make it better then definitely use a special tripod um, but as you can see for fun it's not necessary hope that helps